Laura Leslie had to go down to the clinic, but if you have a minute, I would like to talk to you alone about group therapy. Uh, I've been worried about all the pressure that's been put on you about that lately. And, well, it kind of hits me where I live, you see. I don't understand. Well, frankly, I don't think that you should go to the rape center for group therapy. You don't? No. But everybody's been after me to go. I mean, I made myself promise, Scotty, that I would go. I know, and that's just the point. You made yourself promise. See, if you don't go willingly, this thing can be a real turn-off for you. I know that uh, my early AA meetings really turned me off. A person is not receptive to that kind of help unless they realize that they need it, unless they really seek it actively themselves. So I just want you to know that uh, until or unless you decide that you want that kind of help, I will support you if you refuse to go. You really mean that, don't you? Oh, honey, I have been there. I know on a gut level exactly what all this pressure is doing to you. So you just remember now, I'm on your side. Are you? Really? Oh, honey. I know this feeling. I know it very damn well. I just thought that the whole family was against me. Oh, no. 220. Honey, no, this is just, I can't do it. Oh, yes, you can. You can. I want you to take this money and go out and buy something absolutely foolish. Something you don't need, but something you always wanted. Okay. Come on. No, please, Ruby. Please, make me happy. Let me give you something after all these years of taking. All right. And thank you. Beautiful. And thank you. Uh, <laughs> and a beautiful check out the kid. Well, very classy and expensive. Yeah. I can tell by looking at it, very expensive. Yes, expensive. You got a good eye, Rube. Yeah, I got enough good eye to know that you're pretty happy these days. Oh, I am. I'm happy about everything. Every little thing. <laughs> you're gonna have to tell me how everything suddenly started looking up. Very simple. I got lucky. And poor Roy got unlucky. Ruby, I'm trying real hard to forget Roy, okay? Forget he ever lived? I can't do that. Look, he was my friend, my one and only friend, but he's dead. And I can't bring him back. There is something that uh, I can do, though. I've been thinking about it a lot. What's that? I want to help make all this up to Bobby. Oh, honey, that's not going to be easy to do. Yeah, I know. And I need your help. I would really appreciate it if you'd help me. Just a minute. Ruby! Oh, Ruby! You never gonna guess what's happened. I got my job back at the hospital, and it's all mine, and nobody can take it away from me. How marvelous! You gotta tell me how. I was sure they were gonna shove you out the back door. Well, I thought so too, but Dr. Hardy had a raging battle with all of the board, and they gave in. Fantastic! <laughs> marvelous! Oh, fantastic! I... Marvelous! Why should you have to beg anybody for anything? I said I had to beg, Luke. I didn't say I had to beg. You didn't have to. It's pretty obvious what happened. Luke, you're wrong about that. I quit my job earlier today. And even after doing a dumb thing like that, Dr. Hardy wanted me back. He went to the board for my job. That's swell. You're not going to need any favors from Dr. Hardy or anybody else anymore. Because I'm going to take care of you, Bobby. Anything and everything you want. All you got to do is ask. Okay? The money's coming in big now, baby sister. I'm, uh... Rolling high, really rolling, you know what I mean? So you don't have to depend on anybody but me ever again. Luke, put your money away, because it won't take it. I don't need it, and I don't want it. Since when do you turn down money? Since Roy left me the 5000 I donated it to the Peter Taylor Memorial Fund. You what? That's absolutely insane. You out of your mind? If donating money to charity is stupid, then I guess I'm stupid, Luke. But it was my money to do whatever I wanted with. You think Roy meant for you to throw that money down the toilet as soon as he was laid to rest? He worked damn hard for that money, Bobby. What's the matter with you? It isn't good enough for you? That's it. That is exactly it. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Well, then let me explain, brother dear. I didn't want to keep Roy's money. 
because I didn't know how he earned it. Oh, yeah, Roy's money would soil your lily white hands. That's that... right, Luke. Okay, what about my money? I told you, I'm not going to touch your money. Why? Because I don't need it, Luke, because I have my job and I have a very good salary. And because you probably got it the same way Roy did. And how was that? From those people. Like Smith and Watson. From those underworld people. All right, you watch yourself, Bobby. I'm sorry, Luke, but that's how I feel. Now I think you better go before we both say something that we can never forget. That's the only sensible thing you've said so far, sister. Bobby, what got into you? Luke was only trying to give you that money to make you feel happy. Ruby, no. Don't tell me that, because Luke was trying to buy me off. What a terrible thing to say. I know it's a terrible thing to say, but it's also the truth. That money was conscience money, that's all it was. What makes you say a thing like that? Oh, Ruby, come on. Wise up. Roy is dead. Luke is alive. It should have been the other way around. It should have been Luke who got killed that night of Mitch's election, not Roy. Bobby. The only reason that Luke is rolling around in all of this money is because he's been paid off. Paid off? By the organization. By those slimy, creepy characters that he's been getting so cozy with. I just don't believe what I'm hearing. Ruby, Luke is on the inside now. They gotta keep him happy. Because he knows too much about them. Like what? Like our new state senator, Mitch Williams, is in the organization's pocket. Try that one on for size. Good evening, Luke. How are you? Good evening. If you're here for dinner, I'm afraid there might be a little wait without reservation. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not here for dinner. Food is the last thing I need tonight. The bar, I there's the place for me. A drink or two or three. Shake off the cold. Are you all right, Luke? Certainly. I've decided to be more aggressive, Susan. I'm going to check out what the opposition has to offer. Your bar and mine is in competition. Now, of course, if I'm not welcome. Of course you're welcome. Don't be silly. Have a seat at the bar. Check us out. It's a free country. Not for everybody, Susan. Susan, good evening. Your table's ready right over here. Thank you. Okay. Ah. Well, is everybody hungry? Thank you. Mm, I feel good to be alive. Uh-huh. <laughs> the special for tonight is lobster thermidor and chocolate mousse for dessert. That's mm. delicious. Mm. delicious. Sorry, I took so long. I didn't realize what a big job it was going to be. Well, I'm glad you did. You look terrific. See, that compliment would mean a lot more if you had your eyes on me. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I've just been watching Luke Spencer. He came in. He's had a couple too many. I think we could be in for a very interesting evening this evening. Will this table be satisfactory? Excellent, Susan. As usual, you are the perfect host. Susan, we can manage from here. Are you sure you wouldn't like to switch tables, Susie? This table is perfectly adequate, Mitch. It's so nice to see so many friends here tonight. You know, Luke Spencer is even over at the bar. And he's... I mm. you drink and maybe looking for trouble. Get him out of here. Enjoy your dinner. I'll send your waiter right over. Well, thank you, Susan. You know, without that, that girl, this place would be an absolute morgue. <laughs> it's a lovely hostess, without question, isn't it? Yes. That is what I like. A lady who agrees with everything that I say. Oh, now, if you really thought that, you would not have asked me to be your family's attorney. Oh. Hello, Bobby. It's Susan. I'm so glad you're home. Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid there is a, a little problem. It's Luke. He's here at the bar, and he's in a very ugly mood. 